Hello, my name is Erich Skumon. Welcome to Matters of the Soul. This is our second program in a series on building couples of relationships. And today we are looking at listening attentively. Do you want to have a great marriage? Then you should learn to listen well and actively, as the research shows. This will um, help you to love your spouse well. Now, when you got married, you uh, committed to love for better or worse. And usually loving during the worst times is the difficult part. Now, I've been married for 21 years, and although we're happily married, uh, there have been worse parts. Uh, we've had to learn through counseling and guidance to communicate our frustrations, our hurts, to negotiate our needs in such a way that we actually grow closer together. Now, how do you do that? How do you listen well? Your attitude is prima. If you are surrendered to the Lord and you allow his word to teach you, then you'll most probably adopt a kind, humble attitude towards your partner. Um, and then you will let the Holy Spirit live through you and change how you talk and act. Now, here are a few steps that you can take to um, improve your listening skills. Firstly, give your attention fully to your spouse. Switch off the other distractions um, and actually give them your mind space and your time. Use your whole body when you're listening. So look at your spouse, not your phone. Stop frowning um, and give them your ears. So turn to them and um, try to listen with a warm understanding, not a defensive position. Try to put yourself in their shoes and um, hear what they are actually saying. So give them that unconditional acceptance, even if you don't agree with them. Secondly, don't interrupt. Use silence. Listening requires silence on your part, um, with the occasional reflecting on what you're hearing. You know, the odd nod and here and there reflecting. Interruptions uh, disrupt the flow of conversation. So wait for natural pauses. Start your replies with, I hear you say this, or um, I hear you feel that, rather than just giving your immediate position and, and reply. Thirdly, use summarizing. What you've heard them say about the events, their feelings, the thoughts that they've got, and what they need. Clarify, as a fifth step, what you don't understand or what is not really clear in what they are saying. And that will also help them. Now, what are the advantages of listening attentively? You can respond with more knowledge and insight as to what they are actually saying. You um, will let your partner know that you are listening and you will actually respond to what you've heard. And they then don't have to repeat themselves. Uh, it opens up um, a, a new channel between the two of you and it draws them closer to you. It will also make them feel understood, loved and valued. Um, they usually are more likely to listen back to you rather than interrupt and blame. Now, clarification prevents you from responding to what you think uh, your, your spouse said. It also makes sure that the other person gets feedback on whether they've clearly expressed themselves. For example, if you say, I hear you say this and that, but did I hear you correctly? Or is this what you meant when you said that? Now, indeed, it is difficult to reply with kindness when you are attacked. So there you need additional skills like assertiveness. And that we will take a look at in a later program. Please check us out on the socials. Uh, we're even on TikTok. Will you like, subscribe, click the bell? And if you found this video helpful, please consider sharing. Like, I'll speak to you again next time. Cheers.